Welcome to PLP. The following video covers the installation of the PLP Thermaline Dead End for ACCR and select ACSS conductors. The Thermaline Dead End includes aluminum alloy structural reinforcing rods, an aluminum alloy dead end, an aluminum clad steel dead end, a galvanized steel dual thimble clevis, and a 14 inch galvanized steel extension link. No tools are required for installation. Begin by looping the aluminum alloy thermaline dead end component through the top working hole of the thimble clevis. The aluminum alloy dead end component will have a white tag. Mark the conductor at the color coded crossover mark of the aluminum alloy dead end component. This will be the reference mark used for positioning the structural reinforcing rod layer on the conductor. To appropriately position the aluminum alloy dead end component for the reference mark, the thimble clevis may be temporarily attached to the extension link. It will need to be removed for later installation of the aluminum clad steel dead end component into the thimble clevis. Line up the crossover mark closest to the end on the structural reinforcing rods with the mark you just made on the conductor. Make a second mark on the conductor at the center mark of the structural reinforcing rods. Line up the center mark on the structural reinforcing rods with the mark you just made on the conductor and wrap the first subset of structural reinforcing rods completely onto the conductor, snapping the ends in place. For ease of installation, the legs can be split into smaller subsets or individual rods and then applied to the conductor. It is easiest to do this with two or more unapplied pitches. Make sure that all rod ends are snapped into place. Wrap the second set of structural reinforcing rods on the conductor by starting at the center mark. Wrap the second set of rods by pulling into the previously applied subset, being careful not to leave a gap. Leave the rod ends loose at the end. Apply the remaining subsets of structural reinforcing rods on the conductor in the same way the second subset was installed. To complete the installation of the structural reinforcing rods, find the subset that wraps into the subset already fully applied on the conductor and apply this subset. Repeat this procedure until all the subsets are fully applied to the conductor. Loop the aluminum clad steel dead end component into the seat of the thimble clevis. The aluminum clad steel dead end component will have an orange tag. Care should be taken to assure that the loops are fully seated into the thimble clevis. Attach the thimble clevis to the extension link using the clevis pin. Align the crossover mark on one leg of the aluminum alloy component with the crossover mark on the structural reinforcing rods closest to the structure. Completely install this leg over the structural reinforcing rods. Align the crossover mark on one leg of the aluminum clad steel component with the crossover mark on the structural reinforcing rods. Install this leg over the structural reinforcing rods, leaving two to three pitches uninstalled. Keep the thimble clevis lined up in the loops of the dead end components during this procedure. Next, install the second leg of the aluminum alloy dead end, and then the second leg of the aluminum clad steel dead end, leaving two to three pitches uninstalled for each. Find the dead end leg that wraps into the already fully applied dead end leg, and completely apply this leg. Repeat until all dead end legs are fully installed. Once again, to help with ease of installation, the legs can be split into smaller subsets or individual rods and then applied to the conductor. The installation of the thermaline dead end is now complete.